Hey everyone, this is Flip King Gamer. Welcome back to Let's Play Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. Uh, in the last part, I basically went and completed Patrick's stage and Sandy stage, but as you saw, I ended up rage quitting on Sandy stage and had to be her level completely off screen. So this is now my second attempt to finish the last two levels because as I, the previous recording session, I had attempted and managed to beat Danny's level, but my dumbass, my knee, ended up hitting the table and knocked, knocked the camera off of where I currently have it set up, and I ended up losing all the recording footage of me completing Danny's stage. So before I can wrap this up, I have to essentially have to do Danny's stage all over again. It really doesn't also help the fact that there's been a lot of things going on with me right now. Basically, just for context, um, since my... I basically had to deal with multiple copyright claims for the last three parts I've uploaded to YouTube. My fight against the Magu, most of the level, up until I ended up getting glitch, that one no longer has copyright claim. The video with the actual fight against the Magu is still under copyright dispute. The next part where I basically showed off all the bonus contact, including Spongebob and, and Timmy's bonus levels. I had to mute a lot of this stuff from, from Spongebob's levels. And also, a lot of the footage from when I did Patrick and Sandy's bonus levels, a lot of it I ended up having to cut out until I finally decided to file it for dispute, even though most of Sandy's stuff I ended up rage quitting on anyways, and actually ended up with the attempt where I ended up getting to the end, actually. So, anyways... So this is now, once again, my next attempt to hopefully get through Danny's level. As I mentioned, his bonus costume is essentially like kind of a, I don't know, kind of a technology armor type of thing. That's how I'm best describing it, and hopefully I can be able to get through this problem. And part of the reason why I faced a lot of setback here was because there was a lot of glitches that I was facing in this level, as you can plainly see. Hopefully I can get this done a lot faster this time around, and hopefully no glitch is going to hold me, hold me down this time around. Alright. Since I've already done it once before, I, I'm able to at least breeze through the first level. The second level I at least have a bit of a better idea of, since I was able to get through it and it took me multiple attempts. And I am kind of thankful that these aren't like, insta-kill type of things, so I'm grateful for that. And also, there's just been a lot of things that have been going on with me personally. At the time of this video, or recording rather, my grandmother on my dad's side of the family sadly passed away yesterday morning, so I'm kind of, so at the time of this video, tomorrow, I have to be on the train into Rhode Island by like 10, for the wake that's at, at around 4, and the train schedule says hopefully I can get in at at, at least 2.30 supposedly. Ugh. And this is where I kept tripping up last time because I keep running into the stupid wall. Just barely. Alright, this is the one where you need a little bit of a pattern. So, I kind of kind of bitched at the last time where er, only Spongebob and Danny's levels only get like 30 seconds while all the other characters get like at least a minute. I'm kind of wondering why that's the case. Maybe it just might be because they're technically the main characters. I'm assuming that's why. This 
This is where you need like. Oh. And that's the one thing that is aggravating about these bonus levels is that if you slip up once, you have to start all the way back into a certain section. And because this is checkpoint. Let's, because you need, all right, this is a section where you just need a lot of patience because you occasionally have to jump back and forth. Because then that happens. And go. Because you can't get stuck in the wall. All right. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Here we go. Kicking ass and... And there we go. We're kicking ass, taking names. Okay. All right, so... I am a bit worried about making the same careless mistake again. But like I said, I was at least able to get this done a lot faster, but I don't want this video to be like six minutes. But, but the last time I did this, it only took me about 15 minutes, so that only goes to show how better I am at these levels now. So now, hopefully this time around, I can actually finish this up in one fell swoop, because Sam's levels was the only one left, so... Let's just jump right into her levels. So these are the last of the bonus levels. And hopefully, if I don't make a careless mistake this time around, and by that, I mean basically hitting the table and knocking over the camera like an idiot, hopefully I won't screw this up and the last bonus level go got. I can finish this up and hopefully I can show off the credits and I can finally wipe my hands in this game. And I think overall, I'll probably need to take a break. So Sam's, Sam's bonus level is a, spits a lot of her personality that's mostly gothic and has a lot of graves and stones. And her bonus costume is essentially from the, actually the very first episode of Danny Fan that I ever watched, which is when Danny has to go up against a dragon ghost and, and, there, and there's an amulet that goes on the girls and whenever they get angry they turn into said dragon. And Sam was wearing this very costume in the episode. You need to be very deliberate where you jump. And I've also... I was going to say before I jumped off the ledge like an idiot that whenever there was a point where I actually ended up jumping ahead at certain points. I don't remember where it was, but I know it was in this level somewhere. The part that makes me really sweat about these bonus levels is that because you have to be very precise at certain jumps. Okay, please it is. Alright. Alright, so this was the level where I started to screw up heavily, and this is where I ended up kicking myself really hard and knocking the camera over. Okay, let's... Well, we're doing good. Here we go. Kicking ass, taking names. Alright, so I'm... Really, the only thing that I'm hopeful for at this point is basically... If I don't get hit with copyright claim for this particular part, I'm hoping that doesn't really happen because then I won't have to wait yet another month to file certain disputes or cut out footage of my potential screw-ups, I'm hoping. Ah, oh, certainly 
all the way back over there. do all this shit again. Alright, well thankfully because I finished Danny's level so fast, I'm assuming the rest of this video is probably me just getting through Sam's levels. There's just a lot of things that have just been going on right now, and honestly, I think today I just felt really tired and also easily agitated, because that's kind of what I felt like all day today. Especially since I had to get up at the ass crack of dawn for my cardiac MRI. I, like, I had to be, like, out the door at, like, I don't know what time it was. I think it was, like, like, nine when, when we had to go. Doing good, doing good. Here we go, kicking ass. Ugh. All right, there we go. Last level, hopefully I can wrap this up, and hopefully I'll never have to go through all of this again. Okay. This is literally the only thing left to do. Alright, here we go. I have no clue how to get past this. Ugh. Oh my god. Alright, something tells me I'm not going to get through this because I can't figure out this pattern. Wait. Alright, well, I'm not going to get through on my first... And I can't even look it up because I'm in the middle of doing it. Yeah, no. It, it doesn't seem bad at first, but it's like that pattern is near impossible. I guess this is part of the reasons why I'm doing Sam's levels last, because Sam seems to have to harvest out of everybody. Okay. Like, like, how am I supposed to figure this out? This is a. Oh, wait. There we go. Figure it out. It's also really inconsistent how sometimes you're able to rebound from a hit and other times you can't. Fuck! Alright. 
Okay, well, I am a freaking dumbass. Nope. Yeah, no. All right, I'm at least making a little bit of progress. So essentially the trick is, is that you have to stay very close to the side, not very close to the edge, but just enough that you don't get hit by those things. So I at least figured out the trick to this. And so hopefully now I'll be able to get through this without royally screwing up. And I'll probably have to save the credits for next time, but I now figured out your shit. Yep. Now the trick is not to get your hand so sweaty that your thumb slips off the controller and then you end up falling, falling up and having to start the section over again. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's do grease. Okay, all right, at least it didn't start me all the way back over there. All right. Oh my God, I figured it out, but now I gotta get past this part. It's literally like the game is now, it's like the game is making fun of me now. As soon as I figure out the tricks, nope, down you go, fucker. All right, all right, whatever. It's fine, I figured out the shit, and I can, I think I can do this. So now I figured out the shit. Royally screwed myself there. <gasps> oh, I fuck farts. Like, <sighs> oh. It's the left side I have to go to. <sighs> like, it's not so bad when you get... Alright. Alright, only two. The end's over there. I'm gonna be cutting it close here. All right, this will probably be my last attempt if I'm gonna have to go through the rest of it. 
not off screen because I already rage quit on Sandy's level, so I'm not gonna go through all that again. I think if I didn't get hit so many times at that second section, then I would be able to plan, have a little more time to plan this out. the left side. All right. Mm. There we go. Only took me two attempts that time. Didn't start me all the way back at the beginning. Stop it here, and especially I'm not gonna screw this up. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.